good friends. Today's book is called Clifford's Fairy Tales, The Three Little Pigs and the Big Red Dog. Hello, I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big red dog. Every night we cuddle up and my dad tells us a story. My dad loves making Clifford and me the stars of the story. Tonight, we're reading The Three Little Pigs and the Big Bad Wolf. Once upon a time, Clifford and his best friend, Emily Elizabeth, moved to a new village. They were excited to meet their neighbors, the three little pigs. They had even baked a pie for each pig. Achoo! Just as they were about to leave, Clifford let out a horrible sneeze. Clifford's sneeze rattled the whole house. Clifford, Emily Elizabeth cried, you're sick. You should stay home and rest. But Clifford wouldn't stay. He wanted to meet his new neighbors. Emily Elizabeth and Clifford arrived at the first little pig's house. His house was made of straw. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, it's my new neighbor, said the first little pig. Just then, Clifford felt another sneeze coming on. He huffed and he puffed until Achoo! he blew the straw house down. Clifford and Emily Elizabeth apologized. Then they helped the little pig out from under the mess. The little pig gave Clifford a big blanket to use as a hanky. You should really go home and get some rest, he said. Clifford wouldn't go home. He had to meet his other two neighbors and deliver the pies. And he wanted to help fix the little pig's house, too. So Clifford, Emily Elizabeth, and the first little pig walked to the next pig's house. The pig's house was made of sticks. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, it's my new neighbors and my brother, too, said the second little pig. Just then, Clifford felt a sneeze coming on. He huffed and he puffed until, achoo, he blew the stick house down. You should really cover your snout when you sneeze, the second little pig grunted. Clifford, your sneezes are getting worse, said Emily Elizabeth. Let's get you home. But Clifford refused. He wanted to meet his neighbors. He hadn't given the pigs their pies, and now he had two houses to help rebuild. So Clifford, Emily Elizabeth, and the two little pigs walked to the next pig's house. His house was made out of bricks. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, it's my new neighbors and my brothers too, said the third little pig. Just then, Clifford felt a sneeze coming on. He tried to cover his nose, but it was no use. The sneeze couldn't be stopped. He huffed and he puffed and ah, ah, choo! This was Clifford's biggest sneeze yet. But the brick house didn't fall down. You've got a nasty cold, said the third little pig. You better come inside and rest. The third little pig made a big pot of soup for Clifford. He also wrapped him in as many blankets as he could find. While Clifford rested, Emily and Elizabeth gave each pig a pie. After a while, Clifford was feeling much better. Later, the third little pig gathered bricks and building supplies to help his brothers fix their houses. Clifford and Emily Elizabeth helped, too. Just as they were almost finished, Clifford started to huff and puff. Clifford barked happily. He was feeling back to normal, and he was happy to help his new friends. And the three little pigs? They were happy, too. Now they had houses Clifford could ne never sneeze down. The end. Thank you, friends. Take care.